Hey guys, Rob from Harmony here, and in this lesson, I'm gonna to talk to you about the importance of staying connected. My stupid mouth has got me in trouble. I said too much again to a date over dinner today. Hey guys, so this week I've been working on a Cheeky John Mayer cover and it got me thinking about the importance of staying connected vocally. So firstly, what does it mean to have a connected vocal? Well, as you exhale and phonate makes sound, your vocal cords need to come together to vibrate. A connected sound is where the vocal cords come together and vibrate in such a way that you get a nice, clear tone. Something like this. An unconnected sound would be sort of the opposite of that. It's where the vocal cords don't quite come together enough and a lot of air hemorrhages through or leaks out and you get a soft, wispy, breathy tone like this. It's really important when you're training your voice to find that connection first. And if you want to sing with a softer, breathy approach, find that solid connection and roll it back. If you just go in with a breathy, unconnected sound and try and train your voice and try and sing songs, you're not gonna get very far in terms of strengthening your voice. And you're also gonna be very limited in what you can do. So let me show you an example of that. I'm gonna sing that John Mayer song, firstly with an unconnected, breathy sound, which may sound truer to his version. However, you'll see how my voice struggles. And then I'm gonna sing it with a connected sound and you'll see straight away that my voice is more comfortable and I'm able to make use of my full range. So this is the soft, breathy approach. My stupid mouth has got me in trouble. I said too much again to a date over dinner yesterday. And oh. And straight away you can hear that issue as I try and drift up to those higher notes. My voice wants to let go and disappear into nothing. Let's see how I get on with more of a connected tone. My stupid mouth has got me in trouble. I said too much again to a date over dinner yesterday. And oh. Already you can hear how that higher note has much more for me to hold on to. My voice was able to resonate much more clearly and I was able to sustain that sound. So how far can a connected sound get you? Well, like I said earlier, a breathy sound is gonna keep you very limited Whereas a connected sound is gonna give you the option to use your full range as your voice is gonna be much more comfortable and resonating much more efficiently. So if I wanted to change up this song, for instance, I wanted to go from my stupid mouth, something quite calm, to something a bit more driven, I could use that connected tone to get something closer to this. My stupid mouth has got me in trouble. You can hear how my voice wasn't really struggling to get up there. I felt very comfortable. And if I was to try and attempt that with a breathy sound, it's gonna sound like this. My stupid mouth has got me in trouble. Whew. And that's not comfortable. And it wasn't pleasant for you to watch. It wasn't pleasant for you to listen to. It wasn't pleasant for me to do. So try and stick with that connected sound. And in just a moment, I'm gonna show you what you can do to try and strengthen the connection on your voice. Firstly, to get a more connected sound, you need to tune in to your spoken voice and try and use that in your singing. We're gonna start with the vowel E, and I don't want a bright, smiley E, E, E that's gonna pull the larynx up. I want a nice, neutral, steady, open E, 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 E. Try and keep the tongue down and forward. E, E, 
E and you'll feel that warmth in the sound. Try saying the phrase, I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, and that nice natural flow of the voice. And then you're going to siren, that means slide the pitch of that B at the end of the phrase. I want to be, I want to be, I want to be, you can hear how my voice isn't struggling to move through those sirens because I have that nice connection. If you are a breathy speaker, if you speak very soft, and emotionally, okay, and you have lots of air in your voice, you're gonna to wanna to give me a little bit more on that, add some energy, perhaps call a little louder as if you're talking to someone across the room rather than right in front of you. So try and avoid, I want to be, because then you run into that issue of, of the voice running out and it's becoming breathy. Nice, solid approach, I want to be. I'd love for you to give that a go. It sounds really, really simple. However, it's a great exercise because you don't need a piano or any sort of instrument as reference. You just need your voice and you need the ability to slide through the range. Try and push yourself. Start small. I want to be. I want to be. And then try and push it further. I want to be. One final note about this exercise is try not to shout. Keep the weight off the voice by keeping the volume back. We don't want this. I want to be... Mm -mm. No, thank you. We want to let the voice thin out so get more energized and more excited. I want to be... The same way you get excited talking to a puppy or a baby, something like that. So have a little go at that exercise and let me know how you get on. Leave any questions in the comments below. And if you are enjoying our content, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. They're all that direction, I think. <laughs> like and subscribe, and I'll see you back here next week for more music content. As always, guys, keep on singing, and I'll see you soon. My stupid bells got me in trouble. I said too much again. She was a fan.